We are going to discuss the very recent discovery of the cosmic web. We will speak about how the Holy Quran refers to this web and the saying of Allah, glory be to Him, and by the heaven comprising interwoven tracks. Surat Al-Dhariyat, the wind owners, verse number 7. We are going to depend on the most West scientists who have discovered this web and composed the researches in that topic. We will depend also on the recently published researches. Those researches that are documented by the most important astronomy websites such as NASA website. We will see that we will see that the Quran is coinciding with the stable and absolute scientific facts. This coincidence proves that the Quran is a book of Allah and that this book is miraculous from the scientific and cosmic viewpoints. Where is this web? I was wondering where is this interwoven web in the sky as we don't see something except for the stars and the planets. I searched for the answer and the references that are specific for the astronomy and the cosmos structure. I found nothing that refers to the concept of web at that time. This verse has been kept in my memory for many years and they still didn't have any accurate explanation. Till some days before writing this research at that time I was searching in some international websites for the cosmos structure and what they have reached of the steady and absolute facts concerning the sky. I have got a great surprise when I read about a piece of news that has been published by the European Southern Observatory through its website. The article was titled a glimpse of the very early universal web. When I read the first lines of this article I realized that the Holy Quran has preceded these scientists by 14 centuries in the mentioning of this cosmic web and called it the interwoven tracks. Not only did Allah glory be to him mention it but also he swore by it. The linguistic indication of the term interwoven tracks. The task cannot be handled with simplicity because we are dealing with the book of Allah and the interpretation of something from the book of Allah without any knowledge may lead the commentator to hell and expose him to the anger of Allah the Almighty. Therefore, I'll never bear on a verse of the book of Allah a meaning that cannot be actually implied in it. Moreover, I cannot direct myself toward this a new understanding for this verse or another of the verses of Allah glory be to him without the condition of getting certainty that Allah glory be to him means exactly that meaning. In addition to that the hastiness in the interpreting one of the Quranic verses depending upon some scientific theories, this failure may be proved in the future can touch the majesty of the book of Allah. Also it can be a means in the hands of the enemies of Islam to degrade it of that true religion aiming at in addition to that the hastness in the interpreting one of the Quranic verses depending upon some scientific theories their failure may be proved in the future can touch the majesty of the book of Allah also it can be a means in the hands of the enemies of Islam to degrade it of that true religion aiming at doubting the scientific miracle of the Holy Quran 
Therefore, it was necessary to seek information in the Arabic language, in which the Holy Quran has been descended, and to search for the semantics of this word. And this is what I have done. Thus, after a journey through the linguistic dictionaries, I found that the term has come from the, the verb hobok, interweave, and the Arabs say that the weaver has interwoven the dress, which means has woven. Also, when they say that the tailor has interwoven the dress, it means that he has well sewn it, tightened and fastened it. In addition, the term hobok tracks is the plural of the word habaka. Habaka. That's to say, the road. Through these linguistic semantics of this term, we can see that the word hobok, interwoven tracks, imply some essential meanings that are related to the web and the perfectly interwoven filaments that are tightened to each other. Whereas, the commentators, may the mercy of Allah be upon them, didn't realize the dimensions of that meaning because they were not acquainted with the modern astronomy during their age. Furthermore, the cosmic web is considered a very recent idea whose date goes back to only some years.